The photography and filmmaking world is buzzing with anticipation as Nikon gears up to expand its mirrorless C-mount lineup. Two cameras stand out from the upcoming wave, the Nikon Z73 and the Nikon ZFR. While both are designed with professionals and serious enthusiasts in mind, they serve entirely different creative needs. One is geared toward ultra-high resolution photography, and the other is built to meet the rigorous demands of cinema-grade video production. The Nikon Z73 is expected to be the next step in Nikon's pursuit of photographic perfection. As the successor to the highly respected Z72, this third-generation model is likely to build on Nikon's commitment to delivering exceptional still image quality. The Z7 series has always appealed to photographers who demand high resolution, excellent dynamic range, and stunning color accuracy. With a rumored 61 megapixel back illuminated full frame CMOS sensor, the Z7 III is poised to be a compelling choice for landscape, portrait, and studio photographers. This sensor may also incorporate stacked or partially stacked technology, allowing for faster readout speeds and reduced rolling shutter, critical for capturing action scenes with clarity and precision. This would place the Z7 III in direct competition with the Sony A7RV and Canon EOS R5, two of the most capable high-resolution mirrorless models on the market today. Internally, the Z7 III is expected to feature dual speed processors or a brand new next-generation chip. This hardware leap will likely improve autofocus acquisition speed, subject detection accuracy, and continuous shooting capabilities. Nikon may introduce AI-based deep learning algorithms for improved subject recognition, eye tracking, and animal detection, a feature increasingly expected in top-tier mirrorless cameras. Ergonomically, the Z73 might adopt some design elements from the Z8, including a more sculpted grip and an improved button layout. These subtle refinements, paired with Nikon's classic weather-sealed magnesium alloy body, will offer a durable and comfortable shooting experience in all conditions. Additionally, image stabilization may see enhancements, possibly reaching up to eight stops of in-body stabilization for crisper handheld shots in challenging lighting. While primarily a photography-centric body, the Z7 III is expected to support robust video features. Rumors suggest it will offer internal 8K video at 30 frames per second and 4K video at 60 FPS with 10-bit color depth. However, despite these solid specs, the camera's focus remains on stills rather than serving as a full-fledged cinema tool. Nevertheless, the Z7 III's anticipated improvements in autofocus, subject tracking, and color science make it a compelling hybrid solution for creators who shoot both photos and occasional high-quality video. Real-time AF enhancements will be crucial for video creators capturing fast-paced content, interviews, or wildlife. If the Z7 III represents Nikon's still photography evolution, the Nikon ZFR is its cinematic revolution. The ZFR, possibly short for Z Film Recorder or Z Filmmaker Rig, signals Nikon's first serious foray into high end video production gear. Unlike its predecessors, the ZFR is expected to be developed with a filmmaker first approach, possibly in collaboration with Red Digital Cinema, a move that could drastically elevate Nikon's credibility in the professional video space. The ZFR is rumored to include a full-frame sensor optimized for video with internal 6K and potentially 8K Pro's RAW recording. It might support Pro's 422HQ and Nikon's own NRAW format, delivering unparalleled flexibility in post-production. Color science could also get a serious boost, with the potential introduction of Nikon Log or full V-Log support for broader dynamic range and more precise grading control. Unlike the more compact, and stills-oriented Z7 III, the ZFR is expected to feature a body designed around the needs of filmmakers. This could mean active cooling with a silent fan system, tally lights, a detachable top handle, and a fully articulating, high-luminance display optimized for bright outdoor environments. Connectivity options will also favor video professionals. The ZFR may include dual CFexpress Type-B slots for high bitrate video, a full-size HDMI port for external monitors, timecode input slash output, XLR or mini XLR mic inputs, and headphone monitoring ports. This makes it a real contender in the world of documentary filmmaking, narrative production, and commercial video. For content creators who value slow motion capture, 
The ZFR may deliver 4K 120p and 6K 60p video without sensor crop that allows for high-resolution slow motion that doesn't sacrifice image quality. Expect the same AI-powered autofocus from the Z7 III to be optimized for continuous video tracking, ensuring smooth and accurate eye and face detection. Power options will likely cater to long-form recording needs, with rumors suggesting support for external battery grips or hot swappable power modules. This is crucial for filmmakers working on extended shoots or using the camera on set with other production gear. While the Z7 III is the logical upgrade for Nikon photographers who need resolution and detail, the ZFR addresses an entirely different segment. The Z7 III is ideal for professionals working in high-end photography fields, whether it's editorial, fine art, fashion, or commercial work. It delivers massive still image resolution, color accuracy, and precise control. The ZFR, however, is designed to compete with Sony's FX3 and Canon's ESR 5C, going beyond hybrid expectations to fully embrace the needs of filmmakers. It's not just a photography camera with strong video, it's a purpose-built cinema tool. The Z7 III is expected to hit the market around $3,499, reflecting its high-end sensor and processing advancements. That makes it an investment, but one that delivers real value for photographers needing uncompromising quality. The ZFR is anticipated to cost between $4,000 and $5,000 depending on its recording formats, accessories and licensing agreements for professional codecs like Prawl's RAW. This places it squarely in the cinema camera territory but still potentially more affordable than larger production systems. The arrival of the Z7 III and ZFR signals a strategic shift for Nikon. Instead of pushing a one-size-fits-all model, Nikon is embracing specialization. The Z7 III continues Nikon's historic dominance in photography aligning with cameras like the D850 and appealing to the brand's core user base. At the same time, the ZFR enters the competitive video production space with fresh intent. As mirrorless systems continue to evolve, having clearly defined tools for distinct creative roles gives Nikon an edge. They are no longer playing catch-up, but beginning to carve unique lanes in both still and motion categories. The Z7 III will attract loyal Nikon users upgrading from DSLRs or older mirrorless bodies, especially those who prioritize stills. Its balance of high resolution, dynamic range, and reliable autofocus makes it a top contender in the photography world. The ZFR could draw in filmmakers who might have previously overlooked Nikon as a video brand. If the collaboration with RED is real, it could open doors for serious video creators and studios who want cinema-level specs in a relatively compact, mirrorless form factor. Though these cameras target different creative sectors, they will likely share a common foundation in terms of Nikon's user interface, lens compatibility, and accessory support. Nikon's Z-mount lens lineup continues to grow, including both photocentric primes and emerging cine-oriented glass. That makes it easier for creatives to invest in the system while choosing the body that fits their specific needs. It wouldn't be surprising to see the ZFR support third-party cine rigs, SSD recorders, and external monitors out of the box. Meanwhile, the Z7 III remains a nimble, all-in-one solution for high-end photography with some hybrid flexibility. As Nikon prepares to unveil these two high-profile editions, Photographers and filmmakers alike have much to be excited about. The Nikon Z7 III represents refinement, a camera for those who want precision, resolution, and photographic excellence. The Nikon ZFR, on the other hand, stands as a bold reinvention of what Nikon can offer to filmmakers, a dedicated tool for serious cinematic work. If stills are your priority with occasional video projects, the Z7 III is likely the better fit. But if your work revolves around video production, Especially in demanding environments, the ZFR could be the surprise hit of the year. With these two models, Nikon is no longer just keeping pace with competitors. It is stepping into the future of specialized creative tools with confidence and ambition.